Okay, so while the plugin showcase plays, I'm going to go over a few little details you should know before we hop into the video tutorial slash installation tutorial. So, first of all, this plugin requires your server to be running either Spigot or Paper 1.15.2. And second of all, this is made with script. So, if you'd like to make stuff like this, I recommend you look up some script tutorials as it's a lot of fun to make. This plugin was made entirely and independently by me. So, if you end up using this on your server, please credit me or like my YouTube channel. And if you enjoy the video, please subscribe. This plugin is, of course, completely free, like everything else I release, and there is a Spigot page you can go to. This plugin also has quite a few features, some of which are that there's lots of options you can access by right-clicking on the .sk file and opening it with Notepad or whatever text editor you use. It's also mainly GUI-based, so most of the menus are really user-friendly and easy for any atom to use. It supports lots of different kits, different spawn points in an arena. It is completely free and I do plan on updating it as more features are wanted or if that any bugs are found. So now that said, let's quickly go ahead and show you how to install this plugin. Okay, so now that we are in a file manager, we can look at how to go about installing this plugin. But before we get started, I just want to say that this is a standardized tutorial, which is to say that some of the files I use may not be exactly the same as what you have, but you should still be able to follow along. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go on to the, this YouTube video that you are watching and go down to the description and download all of the things underneath dependencies. Once you have those, you're going to want to go into your plugins folder of your server and drag in all the dependencies. You should have one called script. You might have some numbers after, that's totally fine. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go ahead and restart your server. Once you restart your server, you're going to want to go back into your plugins folder and you should have some new folders, one of which is called script. Open that and go into the script er scripts area here and you'll probably have a bunch of files here with hyphens next to them. You can delete those if you want, they don't matter. All you have to do is drag in the one that you got from the description. This will probably have a different name than what we have here. That doesn't matter, just put it in. Once you've done that, you're going to want to hop back into your game. Okay, so now that you have successfully installed the plugin, you're going to want to run the command slash sk reload and then whatever the name of the file is. So by default, if you just downloaded it from the description of the video, it would be kit pvp. In my case, I've renamed it to kit, so that's what I'm going to do. If you downloaded it twice, then you know the name will be like one, because it's the second one. And what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to go into the plugins folder in your server, go to script, go to scripts, and then you're going to want to open your kits. You're probably going to have to right click it because it's an SK file and your computer probably won't recognize that. So right click, open with, and then in my case, I'm going to be opening with Atom, but you might want to open it with Notepad. Now I've already got it open here, so I'll just switch into it. Um, but now that I'm in it, as you can see, this is what it should look like. And we're gonna go down to the options here, so the stuff that you can change. So as we can see, the first thing is the hub location. You're gonna wanna keep the same formatting here. So um, basically coordinate, coordinate, coordinate in world and the world name. We're gonna be keeping it in world world, which is like the default one that Minecraft makes, but uh, we will be changing the coordinates, so let's look in our game here. This is where I want it to be. So 18.5, 90, we're going to go one block above so it doesn't get glitched into the ground. I'm going to copy these coordinates and paste them in here, and then I'm going to put these back like so. And then we can change whatever we want. So hub on respawn, basically that means when the player dies, they would get teleported back here. Uh, TP on join, this teleports them to the hub whenever they respawn. This is the block required to make locations. These are all the permissions. These are some more settings, and then don't change this down here. So, basically, once you've done that, save your file, in my case, file, save, oh, not save as, just file, then save. In your case, probably just control S, whatever you wanna do. Anyways, once you've done that, slash SK reload kits, you shouldn't get an error. If you did get an error this time, but not the time before, then you mess something up in the naming. 
And with, once you do that, you're going to want to go ahead and use this plugin basically completely normally. Just to showcase that the location worked, if I leave the server and then join back onto it, I got teleported right here. And now I'm going to make my first kit. So let's do slash. Actually, I'm going to grab the things I want for the kit. So I'll do that. Like so. And now I'm going to do slash kp kit maker, which opens this menu to make a kit in. And I'm going to click new kit. Now, in this case, I only have 30 seconds, but in this case, all of the items are based on God. So we're just going to name it God. Not like a religious thing, just like God isn't super powerful. And then I'm going to put my items in. These here are the items that go to the player. These, this here is the armor. And I'll just put everything in like so. And I can also, so I'm just going to save this, right? But I can also change the color of this. So maybe God would be better like blue or green. And as you can see now the icon for it is green. Now I want to have the player be able to select this kit obviously. And although they could do the command slash kp kit gui and it would open this and they could click on it, pick the kit, go back to that menu we were just in. This isn't for editing the kit, only for viewing them and selecting them. I do still want to have some armor stands they can use to make it better and just a nice visual. So I'm going to put down an armor stand here. I'm going to run the command slash kp kit armor stand and then god. So as we can see, the kit god is there and if the player right clicks on that, it'll open the GUI for god where they can pick the kit. Now, right now, any person can just pick the kit, but if I go back into the kit maker, there is a setting here, which is basically require the permission, and they would require the permission, in this case, sk.kpvp.usekit.god to use the kit. In this case, it's false, but if I make it true and then save it, then I can still use it because I'm op. If I de-op myself here, this is, yeah. then as you can see, it'll say lacking permission to use this kit. And if I quickly go into the console and op myself again, then as you can see, I can pick the kit again. So basically, you just need to have that permission if that is true. Um, these are just some, actually pretty useless because you can just use this mode. Other ways of editing the items, so if you just want to remove them, you can just do that or add more like that one. This one just deletes them and you can put it back. So it's pretty simple stuff. I like it the way it is now, so I'm not going to change anything, but I'm actually going to go ahead and take the kit. Okay, now there is one more armor stand you can use. In this case, it's slash kp and then kit gui armor stand, which will make this guy, and if you right click on it, it'll just open the menu to select from them. So you don't have to have an individual, you can just go right to this menu. Now before we set up the sign to join the game, we are going to want to hop on over to our arena, which I have constructed right here. And we're going to want to make the spawn location. Now, if I go back into the notepad here, we can see that the teleport, the location block here is a gold block. So if I, that means that if I put down the gold block and I have the required permission for it, which is edit arena spawn location, which I have them opt, and I put it down, it'll add this to the location of different spawns. So I run the command slash kple. This is all the different locations. This shows the hub location and this shows the option to add a location. So I could just stand right here and add the location and as you can see it's now in the place of locations and when the game starts it's one of the ones I can get teleported to. If I only want to get teleported to one location I can either only have one location in the options or I can go and down here and I can set, where is it, random location to false and it would no longer happen. And then if I wanted to delete a location from this menu, I would just click on it and then confirm, confirm, confirm delete. But there is an easier way to add and remove these locations, which is I can go over here, for example, say I want the person to, to spawn here, put down this block of gold or whatever block I have in my location block in the settings, and it will set add this location to the list. And if I do this, I can see it's now there. And if I break the block, it will go away. So in this case, I'm just gonna put a few different things down. So as we can see, it looks pretty nice. We, well, it doesn't actually look that nice, but we can make it whatever block we want. And now if we can add to the game, it will teleport us to this. Now if I go over and back into this area here, 
I'm going to set up a way to join. Now there is a command you can have your players be able to use, which is slash kp start game, which would add them to the game. But I think a join sign looks a lot cleaner, so I'm going to put one down here. What you're going to want to do is write this in the sign, and you will require the permission to do it. The permission is join sign perm, which is just the permission required to make the join sign. So you want to write it out like this and then click done and it should fill in like that. If it doesn't, you are lacking the permission. And then once that happens, you, if you right click on it, it will send you to the arena, one of the random arena locations, give you all the items of the kit you have selected and it will set your game mode to whatever you have your game mode set to right here. In this case, it's adventure. So right click on it, as you can see, in adventure mode, I'll teleport to this one and then to leave the game, you need to have the player be able to activate the command slash kp leave game, or if they die, so I'll just die here, as you can see, I died, I respawn right here, and my items get deleted, um, there is an option you can turn off to, for delete items, where is it, um, delete drop, right now it's true, you can make that false and it would no longer happen, and this supports as many kits as can fit in here, so uh, 9, 18, so 27 kits you can have, and uh, you could make more, but it would break because you wouldn't be able to see them. Uh, if anyone needs more, I could make a system where you can like, switch between different pages of it and stuff, but right now, I don't have it set up like that. But basically, as we can see, this all works, and if you want to uh, get rid of stuff that you have, then for these guys it's pretty simple, just go into creative mode and punch them. I should add that in adventure mode you can't take their stuff or break them. And then for this sign, if you left click on it, it will just add you to the game and you won't be able to break it. So, well as you can see it got sent back to that, but I still can't break it. So basically, what you're going to want to do is look at it and run the command slash set block, tap tab tab air, and it will go away like so. And then to get rid of the kit, you would do slash kp kit maker, and you would want to toggle kit to leader mode. Now in this case, we'll say I want to keep all these items in the kit, so I'm just going to duplicate them like so. Um, if I didn't save it, they would just go back like so. And if I then I click this to delete it, it would open up this menu. This button permanently deletes the kit. This one just shows which kit you're considering to delete. And this one sends you back to this menu here. And so I'm going to click delete kit permanently, and now it's gone. If I do slash kp kit gui, you can see it's no longer in there. And the plugin is basically back to the beginning. All I have to do would like be delete these, and it would be back to the start. Uh, as of now, if you delete this, it doesn't get rid of this block here. I could make it do that, but I feel like if someone, cause you can also just like click this to add a location, right? So then how would that work for removing the block. So it really depends on how we want this to be. I could add that as a feature, but I don't really see a need for it. But basically, that's the plugin. I can add more features if they are needed, but it's a pretty simple plugin, I think, for at least for the player to use. It took a while to write, but that's basically the whole thing. If you want more options or anything, then feel free to do it. If you do, use it on the server. You do need to credit me, but it's pretty easy because as long as you don't change the message prefix, it'll say, made by the Mr. Wolf, check out my YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. You can click on it, and it'll send, me, send the person to my YouTube channel. So it's not that hard to credit me for this plugin. And if you do choose to change that, just credit me in some other way, maybe like a sign that says, like, um, made by, like, kid PvP, made by... The Mr. Wolf, and then my have it when you right click on it, it sends you to my YouTube channel. Just something like that. Anything, but if you use it, please do credit me. It took a while to make, and I would also like to continue to update this as a bit are needed. You can get me on my Discord, which is the Mr. Wolf hashtag 0001, and I am basically always ready to help you on there. If you have any issues, the plugin is made for Spigot 1.15.2. And make sure you download all, downloaded all the dependencies and everything should work just as you saw it in this video. If you want to delete the plugin, it's really simple. You just 
go in and delete it from the scripts folder in your server and that's basically the, the whole thing thank you for watching and i hope you have fun and can make some really cool kit pvp servers with this plugin